they did have good songs, <laughs> didn't they? The full. Yeah, yeah. Of, at that time, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 I don't know if the, I don't know if you call them songs actually, but I suppose yeah, they were songs. I always thought they were much more of an, an art band actually. I mean, each yeah. little piece was uh, each little piece was a work of art, you know. Um, whether it was the the way the drums would be counterpoint to what the guitar was, and you know, and then Mark's voice on top. Everything was recorded live. There's very few overdubs, you know. Like yeah. Mark would do the, the singing <laughs> uh, um, in the studio, ne standing next to the drummer or just walking around the room with a microphone and you know, you'd do one take and you'd, you'd, for some reason or another you'd do another take and Mark would have different lyrics, totally different <laughs> arrangement and that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Um, there, there, was one, there was one incident on, on the second album, I remember where, um, where we'd done a take of the song and then we'd done, we'd, discussed it and everything and did another take of it but it was totally different arrangement you know and Mark said well I like the drums on this one the 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 band on that one but the voice on that one what can you do about it and of course nowadays in the computer you can kind of move things around accurately and stretch things to make them fit time wise but in those days it was just tape so I took the, I just did the most simple thing the quickest thing which is take the voice off of one take put it on a piece of tape, got the other tape, listened to it, bang, just pressed the button and the tape ran with his voice on. Oh. And it was all completely out of time with drum spill. So as he's walking around the room with his microphone, it's picking up all the drums and cymbals and it's like a totally different song laid on top. And everyone was dumbfounded. At how, how did you do that? And of course it was done really simply and no one would ever do such, something so precarious that would come out with something uh, so bizarre as that. But yeah. um, I think the, the song's called Drago's Guilt if anyone wants to listen to it. Okay. <laughs>